of the senior class of 2018, I would like to welcome you to our commencement exercises. Will you please stand for the invocation? There are loved ones who cannot be with us today because they have passed on. However, they are here with us in our hearts. We love them and we miss them and they will always be a part of us. Will you bow your heads and join me in a moment of silence in memory of DeMarco Simpson and J.D. Watts, two members of the LCHS class of 2018. I will conclude with invocation. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us all to be here together this evening. Thank you for these past four years, for the things we've been taught, for the bonds that we've made, for the memories we will always hold dear. Thank you for allowing us to grow into the people that are standing here today. As we continue to grow, God, please help us to stay strong and work hard in all that we do. As life moves on, let us always seek you and your will first. For your word tells us that you have a plan for our lives, a plan to prosper us and not to harm us, a plan to give us hope and a future. So as we continue on, let us remember who we are, where we came from, and who holds our future. We love you, Jesus, and we thank you. Amen. Here we are, May 25th, 2018, the day we have all been preparing for our entire lives. There's been quite a lot of nail biting, hurried scrambling to get things done, and even maybe a few tears along the way. But we finally made it, and now, the past four years of our lives is coming to a close. It seems like only yesterday that we were kindergartners, unable to sleep because of our intense excitement for the first day of school. There, we'd spend our time coloring and counting, basic skills that, frankly, most of us probably wish were the hardest things we had to learn today. Then it was middle school, and we were sixth graders, nervously anticipating being in a building full of the horrors that we had heard and read about throughout elementary school. And then suddenly, only four short years ago, we were high school freshmen about to take our first steps into the building that would carry us into the rest of our lives. From that point on, I think that we can agree that high school has been quite the experience. Over the course of the last four years, we have learned more than we could have ever imagined whether it be school related or otherwise. A roller coaster of ups and downs has been the central component of our high school career. The common sight of Miss Bivens' gleeful ringing of her cowbell to signify the end of classes, Miss Cecil's dramatic demonstrations of Macbeth, and the countless card games at the end of the year contrast drastically with the usual high school drama, stresses of testing, and of course, the dreaded college algebra class that many of us fell victim to this year. And those are just the experiences within the school walls. Everyone here carries memories of good times spent with friends and family, as well as bad days brought about by something like a bad grade or the loss of a loved one. There were times when we felt on top of the world, ready to conquer anything. Then, only a short time later, maybe even the same day, we were brought crashing down by what seemed like a mountain that we would never get over. Despite this roller coaster of emotions, there is one vital factor that is common among all of these experiences, and that is that we survived. We may not have realized it before, but these four years, through all of the good and bad times, have shaped us into the people that we were meant to be. We are no longer the doe-eyed freshmen that walked through the doors of LCHS four years ago. We are no longer unsure of ourselves. We no longer make careless mistakes. And we are no longer brought down by the things that may have seemed life-ending to us in the past. Now, we are stronger, wiser, and most of all, more aware of who we want to be as we enter the next phase of our lives. Many people view the conclusion of high school as the end of a very long road, but it is exactly the opposite. It is only the beginning. Rather than one path set before you by superiors, parents, and administrators, there now opens to you countless possibilities and pathways, and you alone must choose which best suits you and your personal goals. Whether you choose to spend the next few years in college, in the military, in the workforce, or whatever other path you may venture down, 
we all face an uncertain future. It is during these times that we must keep our heads up highest and remember the famous Christopher Robin quote, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. As you step into your new life, the memories made, lessons learned, and friendships forged during your time at Luru County will stay with you for a lifetime. In the words of Tim McGraw, chase your dreams, but always know the road that will lead you home again. This rings true, especially in a town such as this. We will always have a home here, and whether we stay within the boundaries of this county or move across the country, Lawyer County will be remembered as the place that built us. As we prepare to move into the next step of our lives, we must be sure to pack sunglasses, because from this point forward, our future will only get brighter. We will continue to survive and thrive just as we always have. No matter how many curveballs are thrown at us in the future, we must remember above all else that we are strong, we are worthy, and we are capable of anything. We are the class of 2018. We conquered LCHS, and now it's time to go conquer the world. Would Rachel Sheffer please come forward? Rachel, on behalf of the Hodgenville Lions Club, it's my pleasure to present to you this award for the highest scholastic standing in English. Congratulations. Rachel, on behalf of the Larue County Chamber of Commerce, it is my pleasure to present this award to you for the highest academic standing in mathematics. Would Harrison Hines and William Pierman please come forward? Gentlemen, on behalf of the Hodgenville Gideon Camp, it's my pleasure to present you this award for the highest academic standing in science. Would Rachel, Rachel Sheffer please come forward? Rachel, on behalf of the Lincoln Museum, it's my pleasure to present you with this award for the highest academic standard in social studies. Would William Pierman please come forward? William, on behalf of the Hodgenville Women's Club, it is my pleasure to present this award to you for the highest academic standing in art. Congratulations. Would Austin Skaggs please come forward? Austin, on behalf of the Gavel Lodge number 570 F and AM, it is my pleasure to present you this award for the highest academic standing in technology education. Congratulations. Would Noah Thompson please come forward? Noah, on behalf of Magnolia Bank, it is my pleasure to present you with this award for your highest academic standing in business. Would Maya Meredith please come forward? Maya, on behalf of LaRue County Farm Bureau, it is my distinct pleasure to present you this award for the highest scholastic achievement in agriculture. Congratulations. Would Alexis Puckett please come forward? Alexis, on behalf of the Hodgenville Rotary Club, it is my pleasure to present you this award for the highest academic standing in a modern foreign language. Congratulations. Will Alexia Trumbo please come forward? Alexia, on behalf of the Larue County High School speech and drama programs, I'd like to present you this plaque as a recipient of the Ruth Blair Service Award for service above and beyond to the LaRue County and Kentucky speech communities. Congratulations.
Parker Anderson and Elena Cecil are currently in Washington, D.C., representing LaRue County in Kentucky at the NCFL National Speech Tournament, so they are unable to be here tonight to receive their awards. Parker and Elena are both awarded the Jay Garland Blair Forensic Award for achieving the degree of premier distinction in the National Speech and Debate Association, the highest level of distinction earned by members of that honor society. Elena Cecil is also a co-recipient of the Ruth Blair Service Award for her outstanding service to the LaRue County and Kentucky speech communities. Would William Smith please come forward? William, it's my pleasure to present to you the Sousa Hoggard Band Award for exhibiting the highest standards in musicianship and leadership as a member of the LaRue County Band of Hawks. Congratulations. Would Alexia Trumbo please come forward? Alexia, it is my pleasure to present you this award for exhibiting the highest standards in musicianship and leadership as a member of the LaRue County Choir. Congratulations. On behalf of the LaRue County Board of Education, I would like to congratulate all members of the LaRue County High School graduating class of 2018. It is with great honor that I present the next two awards to the students in the graduating class with the highest and the second highest academic standing. The LaRue County High School class of 2018 valedictorian Ms. Rachel Lauren Sheffer. The LaRue County High School class of 2018 salutatorian, Maya Avon Meredith. Will Jenna Hazelwood please come forward? Jenna, for maintaining perfect attendance for the past four years of high school, we are proud to present you this award. Also, Jenna has perfect attendance for the past 11 consecutive years, so congratulations. I would like to introduce Dee Hutchins, U.S. Navy veteran who will lead us in honoring those who have and will serve our country. As a Navy veteran, it's certainly an honor to be here tonight with all the distinguished guests and graduates. Um, it's been said that freedom's not free. Sadly, I doubt many Americans truly understand the meaning of that statement. Right now, there are well over 7 billion people living on this planet. Historians estimate that between 100 and 110 billion people have lived on Earth. Many of these same historians estimate that less than 5% of that number have ever enjoyed real freedom. Thank God all of us here tonight can count ourselves in that small number throughout history who have lived with freedom. We live in a world where tyranny Oppression, slavery, and violence are the norm. The way we live here in America is an anomaly, not normal in the scope of history. Americans have had to fight for and defend freedom for over 200 years. We are fortunate that there are those among us who are willing to lay their lives on the line and serve. There are seven graduates from the class of 2018 who will join the most respected and feared military in the world. They are the front lines of defense against our enemies. When your name is called, please stand and remain standing. Ethan Blunk. 
Zeke Venegas, Air Force. William Pierman, Naval Academy. Andrew Hutchins, Navy. Landon Thompson, Cole Holt, Marines. Samantha Spaulding, Army National Guard. Would all of those who are with us tonight who have served or are currently serving in our U.S. military, would you please stand as well? On behalf of the senior class of 2018, I would like to thank all the teachers who encouraged us to do our best, parents who supported our hobbies and goals, coaches who motivated us to work harder, and other mentors who helped us succeed in high school and in life. Class of 2018, we are a special class. The talent and enthusiasm in our class, proven by our award-winning athletics, beautiful art displayed in our halls, multiple plays and musicals starring members of our class, award-winning band, and the highest average ACT score in school history has made us truly something exceptional. But now, our time together as one gifted group has come to an end. It is time we depart from the familiarity with which we have grown up. Tonight, we say goodbye to high school, and with that, we say goodbye to friendships, homecoming, scheduled lunches, and standardized testing. But we also get to say hello. Hello to college or a steady income, Hello to new friendships, new interests, and independence. Not all of us had the same experiences in high school. There is no way to describe the class of 2018 that encompasses all of our experiences. That is what makes us special. Our class is so diverse, but we have been able to come together as one countless times during our four years at LCHS. We will always remember the moments we shared as a class, winning the homecoming spirit stick four times, getting every last senior out of the bleachers to sing the fight song in order to be rewarded with bonus points, <laughs> creating a circle of absolute love during our last dance at prom to American team, cheering on every one of our sports teams this year because we were finally good, <laughs> and lightheartedly dealing with every new obstacle that came our way. These along with so many other collective and individual memories from high school, we will hold dear. High school is just one of the many chapters in our book of life. During this early chapter, we have laughed, cried, loved, and created as a group. As we move forward in life, we will all begin to go in different directions, creating our own unique stories. Whether the next stop on your path is college, the military, or the workforce, we are all entering a new chapter of life. In our future chapters, time will begin to move faster, Days will pass and you will realize life is flying by just like it did in high school because you allowed yourself to be pulled into a routine of just existing. In recent media, fears over missing out on the good old days has become a common trend. The fast-paced society we are currently living in leaves us with little time to stop and smell the metaphorical roses. But in order to cherish the good old days as they happen, we must resist the system constantly pushing us into a life of looking forward to the weekend every week. Lots of us now look back on the four years that just flew by and wish we had savored the memories as they happened. Let us use these realizations to preserve the rest of our lives. In the words of Oscar Wilde, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. We should not allow ourselves to be drawn into the pattern of going through life without truly living in each moment. As we enter into adulthood and into the rest of our lives, we must remember to allow ourselves to do more than simply exist. Laugh, cry, love, create. Make sure we live. Will the candidates for graduation please stand? Mr. Sanders, members of the LaRue County Board of Education, 
these seniors have met all the requirements of the State Department of Education, the LaRue County Board of Education, and LaRue County High School. As principal of LaRue County High School, it is my recommendation to award each graduate with a diploma to signify the completion of their high school education. Graduates, you will be presented diplomas by Mrs. Dawn Connor, Chairman of the LaRue County Board of Education. Honor graduates, you will be presented honor cords by Superintendent Mr. Sam Sanders. Please come forward as Mr. Chris Price calls your name. We would like to ask you to hold all applause and expressions of congratulations until after the ceremony. Honor graduate, Rachel Lauren Sheffer. Honor graduate, Maya Yvonne Meredith. Honor graduate, Alexandria Renee Milford. Honor graduate, Ethan Roy Harry. Honor graduate, Madison Sue Eads. Honor graduate, Alyssa Diane White. Honor graduate, Caitlin Alexandria Cruz. Honor graduate, Emily Paige Stennett. Honor graduate, Bria Noel Kirkpatrick. Honor graduate, Haley Leanne Evans. Honor graduate, Mackenzie Grace Uhl. Honor graduate, Mallory Brooke Williams. Honor graduate, Alexis Michelle Puckett. Honor graduate, Laurel Cassandra Locke. Honor graduate, Sean Thomas Smith. Honor graduate, Sarah Elaine Selman. Honor graduate, Caitlin Michelle LaFollette. Honor graduate, Taylor Mackenzie Metcalf. Honor graduate, Peyton Elizabeth Murray. Honor graduate, Callie Brooke Flanders. Honor graduate, Mary Delora Giron. Honor graduate, William Daniel Pierman. Honor graduate, Marissa Nicole Cecil. Honor graduate, Natalie Ann Wolf. Honor graduate, Mary Jesse O'Brien. Honor graduate, Sarah Elizabeth Warren. Honor graduate, Sophia Marie Aiken. Honor graduate, Kyle Logan Woosley. Honor graduate, Ashlyn. Marie Grubbs. Honor graduate, 
Jordan Christine Lee Kruger. Undergraduate, Anna Lee Webb. Undergraduate, Dakota Philip Martin. Undergraduate, Martin Dane Milby. Undergraduate, Alexia Brooke Trumbo. Undergraduate, Skylar Trenton Hornback. Undergraduate, Ethan Michael Johnson. Undergraduate, Noah Keith Thompson. Undergraduate, Isaac Dean Johnson. Undergraduate, Jake Thomas Gardner. Undergraduate, Nathaniel Cole Reisner. Undergraduate, David Tyler Morris. Undergraduate, Philip Douglas French. Undergraduate, Harrison Mitchell Hines. Undergraduate, Jackson Scott Bowley. Anna Connie Garcia. Casey Dylan Damore. Caitlin Ann Marie Hartley. Michaela Lynn Miller. Sierra Faye Jakes. Zoe Peyton Blair. <laughs> Linda Renee Kurtzinger. Please hold your applause until the end of the ceremony. Jessica Rose Hornback. Terry Lynn Booker. Christina Renee Hartley. Brittany Ann Parnell. Jessica Nicole Skaggs. Emily Brooke Powers. Floor Guadalupe Serrano Calzada. Haley Ellen Reed. Caitlin Nicole Thurman. Jenna Nolan Hazelwood. Megan Marie Hawkins. Whitney Marie Bauer. Lisa Ben Patel. Marissa Grace Kappel. 
Emily Marie Miller. Allison Michelle Kessinger. Luis James Bennett Serrano. Cody Gerald Parsons. Isaiah Randolph Thurman. Jesse Tyler Hutcherson. Hunter Lee Lamberth. Carrington Faith Donahue. Christina Ann Harden. Kayla Marie Heath. Jensen Marie Adams. Samantha Lynn Scott. Summer Marie DeFries. Samantha Cheyenne Spaulding. Brittany Ann Peterson. Joshua Lee Rucker. Lauren Renee Parker. Austin Tyler Beeler. Christopher Dakota Batten. Aaliyah Cheyenne Rout. Tiana Brooke Clark. Bobby Chance Martin. Austin Jeffrey Skaggs. Haley Elizabeth Bondia. Essence Kiara Barber. Austin Jacob Milby. Denver Colton Thompson. Terry Lee Dalton Jr. Kendall Scott Watson. Dylan Ray Sullivan. Kirsten Gabrielle Cohen. Patrick Anthony Krieger. Johnny Wayne Key the Third. Noah Benjamin Davis. Cassandra Brianne Clyde. Clay Brownfield Singer. Saul Velasquez Marin. Christian Alfredo Silva. Dylan Ray Gordon. Mark Harrison Wright. Peter Blake Cecil, 
Timothy Roy Sutherland. Christian Alexander Skaggs. Jordan Alexander Hodges. Dalton Chase Preer. Sierra Lynn Walls. Dalton Dwayne Bell. Bryson Lee Cobb. Landon Allen Thompson. Elijah Dane Gibson. Brandon Gunner Alford. Brandon Michael Cecil. Daniel Nathan Gohan Hardy. Cameron Spencer Lasley. Kendall Lamar Hagler. Presley Mary Lynn Brown. Brianna Nicole Shantae Taylor. Taylor Elizabeth Ulrich. Justin Clay Brock. William David Smith. Austin Anthony Doak. Scott Anthony Cochera. Gary Wayne Jackson the second. Caitlin Elizabeth Senesi. Andrew Lane Allen Pruitt. Joseph Lee Pennington. Zachary Justice Foster Masters. Spencer Chase Wilson. Michaela Ann Wallace. Katherine Ashley Redding. Mark Allen Jackson. Maverick Cook. Elizabeth Dawn McMichael. Madeline Jane Poyer. Mackenzie Brooke Turner. John Isaiah Utoff. William Dylan Grimes. Chase Edward Engel. Tyler Jackson Roy Swikert. Gabriel Allen Gray.
Peyton Reese Nye. Noah Andrew Miller. Travis Wayne Allardyce. Dalton Michael Skaggs. Kane Lee Harris. Melvin Blake Shelton. James Dakota Miller. Calum Lee Murphy. Isaiah Lawrence Sublet. Nicholas Glenn Cobb. Shane Kell King. Kendrick Dwayne Weathers. Madison Brooke Cottrell. Austin Scott Long. Brandon Quentin Kurtzinger. Michael Dylan Aiken. Gatlin Wayne Constant. Brian Taylor Eastridge. Clay Garrison Rogers. Andrew Delenn Hutchins. Ethan Bryce Blunk. Ezekiel Scott Venegas. Josh Wesley McCourt. Andrew Russell Morgan. Jared Timothy Lewis. Jacob Alva Rutledge. Alexander Mitchell Nichols. Austin Blake McClure. Jacob Wayne Gentry. Augustus Cole Holt. Dakota James Price. Will everyone please stand for the benediction? Please pray with me. Father, you created the heavens and the earth, and you created man from dust. You then breathed life into us. If these last four years have taught us anything, it's that we can't see the big picture. We get hit by everything at different times, not knowing the reason. 
but you have a reason. You have a plan for, uh, for a masterpiece in place, and you will finish it. As us graduates move on to the rest of our lives, we will be tested and tried. We might not understand why, but it will happen, and it's your plan. Give us strength to keep moving forward. Give us faith that we may follow you even in the valleys of life, and evil humble us on our mountain peaks. Forgive us for when we fail you, and lead us for your name's sake. Thank you for every experience that you've given us. Let us see your blessings, even though they may be disguised. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Will the audience please be seated for the recessional? Congratulations to the class of 2018. Graduates, you are dismissed. Yeah.